Shalom, it's Rabbi Kaufman here. I'm always inspired to meet people like you who are generally interested in finding ultimate truth. People like you are not afraid to ask difficult questions that may have scary implications for your life. You're taking responsibility for your spiritual path by actively researching your options and not getting depressed about how you were misled all these years. It's easy to feel discouraged and angry, but you are putting your energy into finding real truth and integrating into your life at all costs. In my experience on my Facebook page and in, my, and in various Facebook group settings, I met so many people who can't believe in Christianity anymore but are not sure how to deal with the spiritual life without the structure and community. Most of these people come to the conclusion that the truth lies in the Jewish Bible or what we call the Old Testament. But without any kind of guidance, what usually happens is they spend countless hours searching and debating with people in the groups, and this can often be like the blind leading the blind. The first thing they decide is that Judaism is the original source of Christianity, and it must provide ultimate truth and connection to God. So they decide to look into Judaism. But this often takes them into a rabbit's hole full of confusing information and unclear guidelines. They start out looking into Reform and Conservative Judaism. They get excited about the Jewish rituals. They learn about that they certainly learn about, and many times they feel a soul connection with these Jewish prayers and customs. They may even join a Reformed temple and get a warm, fuzzy type of feeling from the welcoming congregation. But over time, what happens? The true seeker will begin to have questions and they don't get satisfying answers. They will come to realize that they may even know more about Judaism than the Jews themselves. And the truth will dawn on them that the relationship with God they are seeking is definitely not shared by the Reformed Jews that he or she meets. More than that, most of these Jews are totally ignorant about God, and frankly, they're either atheist or apathetic. At this point, our seeker tries again at the conservative or reconstructionist synagogue, hoping that an authentic Jewish experience awaits him or her in that place. In the beginning, it may seem promising, more people involved in traditional Jewish practice, but as time goes on, it's going to be obvious that God is nowhere to be found in any of these movements, nor is he welcome. Somewhere along the path, our seeker may be enticed by the Messianic groups who offer a Judeo-Christian hybrid of sorts that makes the former Christian feel comfortable and give the illusion of, this is the best of both worlds. But again, if they are honest, they'll realize this is yet another bill of goods and a path of falsehood. At this point, our true seeker Truth Seeker is so travel-weary that it's not surprising that they give up for a while and begin to suspect there's no answer for them. And then there's Orthodox Judaism. Now that seems so foreign and mysterious. The followers dress differently, have different cultural norms. That can certainly be intimidating. It's not, it's not as common for a non-Jew to walk into an Orthodox synagogue just to observe what, ever, what everyone there is actively doing, and that is praying to God. So the truth seeker may seek out online information and may actually get in contact with a Chabad house nearby. But unfortunately, many times Chabad rabbis are so busy trying to connect with the strange Jews that they put educating non-Jews way down on the priority list. Now that's understandable. Can you see how much time and energy this takes? I'm one of the only Orthodox rabbis around that actually specializes in accompanying non-Jews on their journey toward a Jewish biblical life. The past 10 years I've been doing just that, and my students have all reached their desired destination successfully. There are so many fakers out there. I promise you, I am the real deal. I'm very close and endorsed by Ramosha Sternbach, who is currently the head of the main rabbinical court in Jerusalem, the Edah Haredes. And I am here to help guide you and get you off this roller coaster of ups and downs that this spiritual search has been for you to and avoid it altogether. Imagine that I can prove to you that a reform and conservative, they're certainly dying, they deny God, and so they're not worth your time. And that messianic thing, well, that's a total joke. So get off the roller coaster of ups and downs that this spiritual search has been for you, or avoid it altogether. You will feel confident that the only true path to connection to the Creator is through traditional Judaism that is based on the giving of the Torah on Mount Sinai. You will see that the Torah, the Jewish Bible, and the teachings of the rabbis that come along with it lay out a specific role of the non-Jew in the world and how he or she can best serve God, or Hashem as we call him. 
As a true seeker, you long to fulfill a true purpose in the world and to live an honorable life of Jewish values and principles. In the next video, I'll help you bypass all the falsehood that can derail your search for a real, honest-to-goodness spiritual life for truth. Whether you're still wondering if Judaism is for you, or you know that you want to live a godly life according to the Old Testament, I guarantee you, in the next video, we'll provide you with the knowledge and clarity that will help you move forward. So look out for the link in the next video that will be coming to your inbox soon. Looking forward to seeing you there.